just gonna, I'm, I'm resetting the set, make it a little nicer. The two of you can sit together on that chair, it's a fat man chair. We're gonna get a little, little something new we're trying here today. It's called Scavenger Junt. Here's how it's gonna work. Anywhere on the property, find an object, bring it to me, and then we're gonna talk about that object. Could be outside, could be in the basement. Anywhere is open domain. Nina and Frankie are both gonna play. I will go through, talk about the thing, where I think it was, and which one is the more interesting of your two things. We'll talk about it if we can throw it out or keep it. Ready? Go! So, for those who don't know, where we shoot Box Mac, that's in John's apartment, which is adjacent to the house. The house he grew up in. His dad still lives there, so he's kind of a tenant of his dad's right now. I'm gonna go into the old house because he's abandoned a couple of rooms. Rooms that used to belong to his sisters, and his original bedroom. That original bedroom has been completely abandoned. In no way has anyone made any effort to keep it clean. There's gonna be some really good pickings in there. When I was in high school, we would just show up and just walk straight into John's house. Always unlocked at all times of the day. That's room of disaster one. I mean, it's, it's not a good pick because you can't even get in there. I used to always get a splinter on these stairs. It was like a steady cam. Oh wow. Like a really nice old PC. He's got a lot of Super Nintendos. This is a, a Super NES counter tester. If we went really far back into that, that alcove, there's a tremendous amount of old technology back there. I see an old Odyssey. Look at all this, like the keyboards. Wow, an old uh, photo album. I'm in a bunch of these. And it's in like some kind of horse book. <laughs> Something that interests him, huh? That's, that's the goal. Uh -huh. Well, this guy seems to be pretty prominently. I'm thinking this elephant. Yeah, I think, I'm thinking him. If there is history, I don't know it. I don't know what Frankie's strategy was, but he's known John for like, I don't know, six years longer than I have. Like, I'm feeling a little screwed. So this is where John lives now, obviously. The Boxmax Studios, complete with cameras still set up. So this would obviously be the most boring place to pick something. Now I feel like Frankie would have gone right for one of the rooms of disaster. And that's pretty much guaranteed to be John's stuff. But I happen to know that this piano room is kind of, was at one point like John's kind of dumping ground. He would go out and buy stuff and then become mildly disinterested in it and leave it in this room. But I feel like it's been clean since the last time we were in here. This may have been like a Christmas gift from a friend. It's cow themed, so it's like a little obvious to be John's. And I don't know if I want the thing that's easy for him to explain. I kind of want to make John explain himself. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go to John's old room. So we got some stuff that's still pretty obviously John. A hand weight on the ground. I'd like to maybe make him explain this to me. If I just bring one 10 pound dumbbell. So is that his art for different seasons? But they're all kind of fall. Tom Swift and his rocket ship. We have a winner. The new Tom Swift Jr. adventures. At the very least, maybe we can have John read a passage to us. I don't think it's fair that I'm playing against Frankie. I'm taking on Zach next time. Who's known him even longer. <laughs> Is the place incomplete? Okay, so we've got a, a stuffed elephant music box, and we've got this Tom Swift and his rocket book. So I think Frankie got the book and Nina got the elephant. Wrong. Wrong. Both of these items were in my in my old room. This was on top of the television in yes, my room. Yes. Okay. This was in a bin of books. It was in that room. It was in a little cabinet mm. behind your Leonid Aframal paintings. Oh wow, okay. Let me tell you the stories of these items. <laughs> this book was given to me by my uncle. He gave me a couple of them and they were his books when he was a child. It sat outside for many years in a barn. He only took the stuff out when he went to tear it down. And these books happened to be in pretty good shape. A little tiny bit of water damage to them. I never read it because by the time he gave it to me, I was kind of out of that, uh, that age. Let's see what year this is copyrighted. 54. Any Ooh. sentimental value on your part? So I probably got this book when I was about 14. Sometimes uh, relatives will give you things and it's, it, this probably is worth a couple dollars because it is an old 1950s book with a lot of nostalgia. I mean, I guess I could donate it, but it's always kind of been in that, that category that's just like, you know, well, uncle gave it to me. I should just hold on to it. So it kind of just has sit here for literally ever. There's two more, two more of them. I did not see them. They are not together. I mean, have you ever been in that situation? I'll probably keep them like for a long time, unfortunately. <laughs> no, this is an ordinary commercial job, Tom replied. But I believe that the pilot bailed out before the robot intercepted the plane. There's a chance then that he's out on the water and may swim to an island, Bud said. A very good chance, Tom replied grimly. <laughs> we'll, search for, we'll search every bit of beach. 
There you go. That's a, an excerpt from Tom Swift and his rocket ship. I want to know what happens. <laughs> Any questions from you guys, from me, on this book? Nope. <laughs> on to this one. This is a an item of high sentimental value. I thought oh, so. I lost. My childhood toy. This was purchased from for me at my birth, and this was in my crib when I was uh, when I was a baby, and it was a prized possession of mine. I used to love to play outside. I played outside a lot. It's got a lot of dirt on it. It was once very fluffy. Now it's very matted down. This is from 1980. Bought at a store that doesn't exist anymore. I think it's called Pierce. It was called Pierce's. I think the music box still works. It's incredible that still works. If it didn't work, or if it wasn't playing now, do you remember the song? Like, yes, you... it, it, I, I've I've heard the song so many times. And there's actually a couple broken notes, and it's been that way for a very long Sing time. Sing a little bit of it. This is super sentimental. This is probably in the top five of all sentimental items in my life. Wow. Every once in a while, I'll go up to that room. And I'll, I'll putter around, right? Do a little, try to organize do a it a little. Light reading. I may just, just to make sure that the music box still works. I never do it too tight because I don't want to wind the spring. Oh, yeah, but no. just a little bit to see how we're still doing. You know, it's an old memory, right? So I think you know you can't throw either of them out, really. No, this one I would never throw out. Yeah. I mean, if, if I was on one of them, on one of those hoarder shows, you could convince me to get rid of this, mm -hmm. but not this one. What if we have a fan write in and say that this is their favorite book series? Oh, I would definitely give it to them. Like no if problem. somebody really wanted it. If it, somebody even if, if somebody even kind of wanted it. See, the, a big problem with me and stuff is that I don't like to throw things out that still have value. So if this book happens to be your favorite. You know, let me know. To donate it, right, is a little more impersonal. Sure, right. So, so if someone said, oh, I really love that book and I'd love to have a copy of it, well, of course I'll give it to you. You know, there has to be some kind of enjoyment received in the giving in order for me to not feel bad about the gift that was gave to me. Out of these two items, I mean, the elephant is going to win. And the elephant is kind of a shoe in In the future, you won't be allowed to select either of these items. You kind of went right to the chase. Right to the chase. I almost picked up a stuffed giraffe. There's, there's a story behind that, too, that I could I would have to tell. Next time on, what's the name of the show? Scavenger Junk. Scavenger Junk. <laughs>